The epoxy has had 24 hours to dry and we've removed the neck. I'll admit it was a little scary. It, it stuck a little and I had to pop it pretty hard with the palm of my hand to break the neck free. I was a little concerned that I might actually damage the guitar. But um, it worked. It came loose. And what we have now is a very solid bed for the neck to lay in. A very solid connection between the neck and the body of the guitar. Um, so what we're going to do next is we're going to put the neck back on the guitar. Uh, we're going to tune it up, put it on a stand, and we're going to um, test it. And we're going to compare that test to uh, our previous tests. And I'll tell you what the results are after I've done that. Probably the least well-conceived test in the history of any kind of guitar or luthier work, but it seems to have worked for me. Um, before, before I bedded the neck with the epoxy, I put the guitar on a stand just like this, same position, same place, microphone right in front of the center pickup, about a half inch from the strings, tuned it to open G, and strummed right above the neck pickup. I captured that into Adobe Audition through a Scarlett Focusrite box. Used the same microphone, same cable, same box, same settings all the way through. Did exactly the same thing after. Um, the difference seems to be about two seconds worth of sustain overall. So I was getting 17 seconds of sustain and, and like I said this is a, not a great test because it's based on my ear. But uh, listening to the uh, playback and looking at the uh, waveform in the program, what I'm seeing is approximately 17 seconds of signal before bedding the neck and about 19 seconds after bedding the neck. Um, did some basic math, looks like somewhere between 10.5 and, and 12 percent sustain increase. That's, that's pretty significant, so it probably makes this job worth doing on a cheap guitar like this. A more expensive guitar uh, that has a, a, a more precisely routed um, neck cavity there or neck pocket might not be worth it because you may get just as good a sustain out of the wood as you would by epoxy bedding. And there's no reason to bed it with epoxy if the thing is already uh, wood to wood very solid contact. As far as I, as far as I can tell there's no reason to do that. Um, so that's uh, the results of these tests. Stay tuned for more videos. We're going to do some more work on this guitar and we're going to try to turn it into uh, a really fantastic playing guitar instead of a little cheap hundred dollar instrument.